Hi everybody, it's Christopher and welcome to Life's Not Over, It Just Looks Different on YouTube. It has been a very busy couple of weeks and so there were no videos for a bit, but now I'm back and I actually have to share some of what's gone on in the last couple of weeks because there's been a lot of really cool things. First off was a trip for work. Sounding counterintuitive that that's fun? Actually, no, it was because one, I was able to travel again for work, which was fun. So I took a four hour bus trip from Ed from Calgary up to Edmonton, Alberta, because I was able to do some presentations live and in person. I did four presentations in two days. Uh, it was kind of tiring, but so much fun at the same time. And really had a blast with that. Got to connect with some great people and had a fantastic time. One of the things I learned while I was up in Edmonton is that it is really important for me to have my monocular with me when I am out and about in a city that I don't know very well. Even though Edmonton has numbered streets, you'd think that that would be fairly intuitive and easy, but there were a few times where my phone wasn't quite giving me the right direction and so I was stopping on the corner trying to read the street signs and one day I didn't have my monocular out there with me so that was a bit at my own peril. I did eventually find my way back to my destination, um, but it took a little longer than it should have. Uh, luckily, part of the time I was out there, I was traveling with a friend who also has sight loss, but he lives in Edmonton and he knows the city really well. So he was able to tell me, oh yeah, we're passing by this now, we're passing by that now. And you know, it was much easier when you are traveling with somebody you know, but you know, next time, lesson learned there is I really got to take this monocular out with me more and more places when I'm out and about. The second thing I learned on that Edmonton trip is I need to mark my luggage better because there was a mix up when I got off the bus back in Calgary and I ended up actually going away with the wrong bag because it rolled like mine and it kind of felt like mine, but it turns out when I got home, it wasn't mine. Uh, but luckily on my bag, uh, my wife had put my phone number on there. So the person who actually got my bag, turns out I got their bag. She, the lady called me, we did a bag swap, everything was good. From that, the lesson learned is my bag now has not one, but two markers on it so that it'll make it really clear that this is my bag so that that will hopefully not happen again. The other really cool thing that happened just last weekend is I had a birthday. I have now been here for an entire half century. And some people might go, oh my God, he's 50. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be happy about 50. But you know what? I am because I've been here for a half a century. And with all the trials and the things that I've gone on in my life with a hydrocephalus and with my sight loss, I am glad to be here. I'm thankful to be here and to have made it to 50 years old. I spent my birthday visiting with family and friends in Winnipeg because again, able to travel now a little bit. So I had my proof of vaccination with me, got on the plane, flew to Winnipeg, needed that for restaurants and things while I was there. But it was really great to be able to see my nieces, my sister, my brother, my mom, some very close friends of mine that I haven't been able to see in about two years now, live and in person anyway. So it was so much fun to be out there and I had such a fantastic time being there and doing that. We went to the zoo, we had great meals, but the most cool thing that we did, and I knew that this was gonna be part of my birthday celebration, so I prepared for this. I brought my helmet and my gloves and everything because we went go-kart racing. Being out for an afternoon of go-kart racing was so much fun. As you can see in our picture here, I was out with five of my friends and family, all of us on our helmets, keeping their identities secret. Uh, but the one thing I will tell you is, yes, as you probably guessed, I'm the guy in the red sweatshirt standing out amongst everybody else. It was an indoor place that was a lot of fun. Uh, great track, you know, I'd never been there before. So when I went out on my first lap, I kind of took it at a moderate speed till I got the track layout down and then I took off. We did three races that day. I placed first in the first race. I placed third in the second race. And then I placed second in the third race. I was okay with placing second in that third race because the person who beat me was my younger brother, who is also legally blind. 
Now he's had his legal blindness since birth, mine came later in life, but we've compared notes and we kind of see roughly about the same in some ways and in some ways he does better than me, which I'm a little jealous about, but that's an issue for another day. But we did that third race, he beat me, I placed second, but what I take great comfort in and a lot of joy in is that the two vision impaired guys beat everybody else. So that was a whole lot of fun and really enjoyed it. Had a great time celebrating my birthday. Like I said, all the family friends got to see my nieces, which is always a good time and really had a, a fantastic time celebrating in Winnipeg. And it was kind of a nice wrap up to a busy couple of weeks. That is everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. I want to thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you who watch these videos and click like down below. And thank you also to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. I really appreciate that as well. I want to thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.